G'day, welcome to another episode. I'm Diesel from Getting Around Oz Camper Trailer Traveling. So, the big lap uh, for the moment is over. Uh, we do have some more plans, but before we start up, start a little uh, fixer upper um, process, we thought we'd go through uh, it, you know, how the how the Pachero performed. Um, remembering it's mostly stock with a few things we put on and um, and how the Robson's performed as well. And uh, you now go through what's broken, uh, what we broke, and um, you know in the day like how they how they held up because we do we do get a lot of questions you know saying hey how does the Pachero perform um, towing how how does the Pachero perform um, with the with the Robson and how does the Rob, the Robson perform so. Uh, hopefully today we can answer a few of those questions that, are, that we've been getting and again um, If you have any questions chuck them in the comments um, down below and we'll, as always I'll do my best to, to answer them um, And if I don't answer them in this video, then I'll try and answer them in a, in a future video because um, we've got some um, some plans some trips uh, Coming up we, we might better cover them off then so If you're new to the channel um, Give us a subscribe and follow along and uh, like the video as well, and like I said before, any any um, suggestions or um, feedback or advice, you know, chuck them in the comments. We, you know, I really enjoy them. But anyway, let's get into it. So we grabbed a 2019. Robson, we got it second hand. Yeah, so anyway, look, let's get in and we'll probably start from the front and I'll, I'll do a walk around. Uh, we'll also do a walk around the Pajero as well and then we'll open up the camper um, to go through, you know, some of the insides and the annex stuff as well. So, so starting at the front here, uh, no problems with anything. Um, the DO35 hitch works well, never had any problems. Um, you know, uh, connecting to the car at all. Uh, this is an aftermarket, this is the ARC 750 series jockey wheel, it is aftermarket. Only thing that happened is this thing here um, bent up a bit, so these things here, it locks into there as well, which you know, when you put it up, um, it stays in place. Literally, just before I did this video, I grabbed a hammer and gave this a few good knocks and bumped it down, but it was bent up a bit. Um, but other than that, it's all performed pretty well. Uh, there was a reflector on here which we lost somewhere. Um, there was a reflector on there which someone someone might have bumped off. They did tell me about it. Uh, all the fridge slide stuff, uh, no problems at all. Um, carpets are all fine. It still looks like brand new in there actually. Again, um, exterior speakers. I was a bit, I was a bit sus to be honest with you. I thought I know maybe sand corrugations. Um, you know some of the bulldust but there's nothing in there at all i have literally took a hose from a couple of times but other than that it's been fine uh steps all fine <laughs> the only problems we have with the speakers is our bluetooth connecting to it while we've been driving along and uh playing music while we didn't realize yeah. <laughs> um this one here i still haven't got a fix again this is i've got a long list of things i have to fix this is one of them this is what's come off basically which happened we were coming through Karatha down at Karajini. Uh, we think it happened one of the washouts, which is where we, we busted the, um, the trailer plugs. Got one of these plates here uh, from MDC, I think it costs four bucks. Yeah. So all I gotta do is uh, pop rivet some silicon in there and, and drill out those ones and I can put that back on there, no problem at all. Uh, that been there. like 14 bucks for delivery. Yeah. Uh, this one here, I'll see this just clips onto the back of the door once it's open. That just broke off somewhere, but I know that could happen anyway. But then again, it's not a big deal. I guess it just flops around while we're driving. It's an easy fix as well, isn't it? Just taking that off and putting another one on. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> um, we'll go through the, the kitchen stuff when we're opening her up. That's just something that popped off somewhere early on the piece. All these fittings here have all been pretty good. Uh, so that's all this stuff in the back here. Uh, we never had to worry about any of it, it's always been fine. So, tyres wise, so uh, something that did happen, I literally uh, just had a service this last week. So this tyre here, this was the tyre we changed over in Cloncurry in Queensland. I did notice before we left, there was a slight scuffing in one of the tyres. So we got a ride across Nellabore through New South Wales. 
up around you know the, the Queensland coast and up around the top of Queensland and that, that was as bad as it got what it was and I've got a bit of scuffing on this other tie here and I'll just chuck up a, a quick picture of it uh, it wasn't wheel alignment it's what we thought it was so for those who don't know wheel alignment is when your tires like that and your tires go in or out or you got camber which is like that and the tires in general tend to sag and that's exactly what happened with ours I'm not sure whether it was because we've got all this extra weight here on it or not um, no one's really been able to tell us but uh, the camber on the passenger side so that was uh, yes yeah, so I say that's that's the passenger side tire there I'll try and go on your side the camber was just out a little bit hence the wear on the inside of the tire and it's happened on the same side um, but fortunately this time the damage isn't too bad and we can keep using the tire um, both times that happened about the 10 to 12 or 13 thousand Ks um, so I always recommend about 10,000 Ks get your service and get your wheel bearings checked and that sort of stuff and each time I I didn't do it right on 10 I went a couple extra thousand that's when these things happen but again this thing isn't made to have this you know all the temp holes up here and there's a lot of weight in there. there's a I don't know probably 30 40 maybe 50 kilos with the poles there as well so they're not made to do that um, but yeah the, that's what happened there uh, under here get scared to go under so before we left we put um, some pool noodles to protect to protect all the hoses Let's see if I can actually take thank you to whoever recommended that <laughs> uh, trip in a van was the video I've seen so yeah okay a little bit of rust in that so I'll see I lost a couple of cable ties but I've had no split hose at all so this is all the water lines um, to the to the rear tank and to the front tank and thanks to these also there's a few chips here and there but um, there's a tip for you uh, make sure you do that that saves on um you know having a busted uh, water line where you don't want it to happen uh, the pole um, you can see it's a bit of a banana but um, it's held fine I haven't had to touch or replace any of these again it's just something I fitted up myself I haven't had to fit around any of that and that's that's held that's held fine okay so this here this is what I did I did this I did this in Harvey Bay pulling into I was pulling into the servo uh, in the morning as we're leaving I'd had a pretty average one and we packed up in the rain wasn't in a great mood wasn't paying attention and towing uh, towing this into the into the servo I clicked one of those um, concrete bollards yeah let me tell you they don't move two and a half ton shifted around the bollard not the other way they were bent back these two kind of like that all i did was um i grabbed some rope i tied the rope on the bollard and just reversed back and straightened them out and um, i guess if you can get a, a quick close up but even though even though they're a bit bent this still functions fine um, which was a great relief because that was, you know, we we're pretty much sort of starting out the trip in a sense there. But again, this opened up and closed down, no problems. Um, the arms, the shocks, all that sort of stuff, again, they're not made to carry this sort of weight. But yeah, we've had no problems with any of it at all. Um, yeah, no, none whatsoever. Uh, all the shower stuff, uh, no problems at all. Again, all the passenger side, um, slides, drawers, lights, everything works. Um, as it's supposed to and, and hasn't missed a beat and again all the you know the gas bottles in there the fittings um, we've had no problems uh, with any of it all but before we open that up uh, we'll just go through the the, the Pajero now uh, and I'll start around here and I'll finish with uh, I'll finish with uh, the annex so so first thing is <clears throat> there's not really too many other ways to do it that I know of with this here because it, it tends to sit low as you can see here and i put up i put up a quick video um out of how we actually did this unfortunately i'm not sure of another way to do it i have uh, got some more plugs uh on order this plug here was broken when we bellied out the floodway coming through um was it wickham to carrigini down mm -hmm. the rio Rio Tino access roads. This plug here, as you can see, it's a 
it's been a bit crooked, it actually still works for the moment, but I have got plugs on the way. This happened, um, yeah, just before when I showed you. This is, I think, the probably the fourth plug, and now I'm probably the fifth I'm actually going to put on now, uh, yeah, when I get it. But what I'm going to try and do is, obviously this will come down here. There's no, there's no way on the, on the body to fit these, but I'm actually going to try and put the plugs on top of these bars. That way, if, if I have a bottom out before we, before we get um, some of the suspension upgrades we're looking at, it's always going to keep happening. But if I can put it on the top there, then, you know, when I'm four-wheel driving or I miss, a, I miss a flood where a ditch or something going somewhere, it's not going to smack that. <clears throat> but... I'm not sure there's too, uh, too, uh, there's too many other ways to do it. If there is, um, please let me know. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, about 20, 30, or even 45 bucks a pop as it was in Tom Price Tom to Price, get, yeah. get more of these. It's not a, it's not a cheap exercise. Uh, all the, all the gear up here. Um, we've got the King's bag up the top. This is the Rhino rack. Uh, had no problems at all. We've got a little bit of water in the bag in Queensland. <laughs> But it rained for well three or four days at that point. It was serious, um, heavy rain. <laughs> yeah, and it's like North Queensland rain, so it wasn't a surprise. But again, it wasn't much. It was just a little bit in there. We just opened up, dried it out, and uh, now our sail it's fine. Um, the Max tracks, we haven't really we haven't really used them uh, to use them once um, the other week. I broke this <laughs> the first day I put them on, trying to back under the garage. So if anyone who gets a roof rack for the first time tries to back on the garage remember this uh this will likely hit the roof as it did as it did for me um i just noticed before i did it you know started on the video again this knob here starting to wear that wear might have been me oh here we go <laughs> i drove under a friend's garage the other day and hit it oh ah, there we go <laughs> forgetting you'd left them on because we we're going away again oh, now my the, bad now the truth comes out <laughs> So when these things are just broken, they're not just uh, things that happen on the road. I just don't always hear about it. Uh, again, all the all the rhino all the rhino fittings here, uh, no problems with any of it. You know, it tightens up and stays in place. And this is the same shovel uh, that's got around the country for us. Uh, the tyres. Just before I go on it, something happened here. The tyres. So these are the Cooper um, Discovery AT3s. So they're, they're all-terrain tyres, which we got literally the week before we, we took off and hit the road. You can still see the tread there. They, again, I think it was at 21,000 Ks when we got back to Perth from the big trip. And I think we've done another five or 6,000 since then. So we're closing on 30,000. I'm pretty sure that's not including driving around town and stuff. And you can still see the tread there. So, um, and anyone who's followed our channel, you know what sort of places we've been to and again, Coopers, um, I couldn't speak highly enough of them. Um, these tires have been fantastic and we've had no leaks or any of that sort of stuff at all, which has been great. Now this bit here, uh, I'll show you the video now when I uh, did a bit of damage to this. Oh, I'm just learning about this one yeah. now. <laughs> okay, so this, here again it was bent it was sort of bent back a bit but um and got stuck on the guard when i turned the wheel but I was, of course i just pulled it back and um it's all fine now it's obviously a popped pop one of the, the plugs there but it's all in place and it's all still fine and um again the pajero's it's actually still in some gardening while we're done filming good work mate okay but again uh you know this is all held up fine underneath here Closer. Now the bash plate in here, see, a bit of rattle there, so there's actually, there's a bolt there and there's a bolt on the other side. What happened there? We've actually got someone to have a look at that. Uh, there's two screws in there that rattle a bit, rattle a bit when we were, uh, we're up in the Pilbara, mm -hmm. by memory. Basically the, the bolts, one of the bolts is actually sheared off, the other one um the thread sort of a bit sort of shoot off as well so might have to get those holes re-drilled don't know where we did it to be honest with you it only really started rattling uh when we we're up near at Caratha, wasn't it yeah when we were with christine that okay so this one happened i'll show you the video right now when this happened
Okay, so you can see it's in it. It's a little bit of a banana, but not too bad. Um, if you look underneath it, these were like this. Uh, we noticed this probably when we got back uh, back to Perth the first time. So I think from what I worked out, all they are is just little plugs that go in there. I've just got to get around and go into Mitsubishi and replacing those. So both sides, um, all these are hanging out. End of the day, it's just the casing to, to hold the plastic on there, uh, which is fine. But again, um, you know, anyone who hasn't got the, the side skirts here, um, I recommend them. But again, you know, end up being in a situation where I probably didn't expect it to go the way it did, but um, it's held up and it's doing fine. Now this one happened when we were down the beach at, um, I think it was Boring Up Beach. I've probably Can got... I just have it on the record? The last three major damages have been when mum hasn't been there. <laughs> <laughs> Once I was on the beach there, I had the drone up and I was recording and trying to keep it on, on the boys in the water and I don't know, we were probably there 15, 20 minutes and turn around and notice the awning had actually blown up straight over the roof and I'll show you what it's done in a sec. So it was a bit of a mission to get them back over, um, especially because of the wind. I didn't record after that because I was clearly a bit upset. But I've got some, some bits here to fix it. The annex itself, where one of the poles are, there was a little bit of a tear, but nothing too bad. Nothing I can't stitch up, put a patch on. So there's pegs in here, but the pegs that come with this aren't really suited to beach. Um, so we need to use some bigger pegs for it. But what happened was, I'm gonna get it closer. So these are the bits that broke off when it flew over. Um, I managed to get some bits from um, uh, Auto One down the road. So. As you can see, the screw is there, so the guts of this will come out. There's a screw there that, uh, unlo sorry, that loosens there. And I could actually put these, in theory, put these two bits back in here uh, and put those back together and it should be, and uh, it should be fine again. We're gonna need that. I've got to fix that in the next couple of days because we'll be going in, going away uh, this weekend. But um, other than that, you know, all this sort of stuff's um, held up pretty fine. We get, I get asked a lot, um, every few days, how's the Pajero going? How does it tow? Have you done this? Have you done that? Uh, other than all the roof stuff, I've done nothing to this thing, hey. And it's it's done fantastically. It really has. We've got some upgrades coming for it. Again, that's just so we can do more. Okay, for some reason Anita was recording this bit in time lapse. But basically trying to say the kitchen was all fine. Um, does need some uh, some wind protection, but uh, the newer models do have that, the ignition switch. Uh, didn't work for, for a reason we're not sure of. The taps and all those types of things all were working fine. The sink was all great. And uh, yeah, the fly screen here was pretty much just busted because of the kids opening and closing it and uh, actually got caught and ripped and uh, got worse progressive throughout the trip. But uh, let's have a quick look inside here and basically the all the canvas and... Or it tears or um, st stitching issues in the canvas. There's none of that. We had a little bit of mold here and there, but again, we just sprayed it as it came up. But again, anytime it has come up, it's just been a, a spray and clean and it normally comes out, but um, it hasn't, you know, it hasn't caused, you know, it still smells um, like the day we got it, to be honest with you, it's been what a year and a half, year and a half now, I oh, know, it's been nearly two years. Uh, we've got some sort of, some some scratches on the top of the cupboard here, but again, that's fine. Um, the hot water, which is under there, was one thing we had some problems with. We, at this point, would have put out a video we did, which is more uh, due to the design of the wind tunnel, um, tunneling through and blowing out. Um, the hot water, but other than that, all the switches, um, everything is working here without any problems. Um, so yeah, look in summary, uh, would we get another one? Yeah, definitely. We got this, so this is a 2019, we got it second hand at the time, it was only about a year and a half old, so we got ours uh, literally a month after um, COVID started spreading. We've seen, like in the, what, in a month or two months, um, that that started. The prices for these 
brand new, went up by two grand. So we could see pretty quickly uh, things were going up. So we, we got in and bought before we were ready, but we're glad we did because um, they've since gone up by a fair bit. So yeah, 22,000 we paid for this, the Pajero. Um, 2014 we paid uh, 28,000 for that. Um, I think I had about 120,000 Ks on it by memory, sounds about right. Um, again, Pajero's been fantastic as a combo. They've been great. The rear suspension um, definitely needs um, some help on the patch. Other than that, no, they've both done very well and we'd definitely um, get another one. So uh, that's it for this video. We'll, we'll finish it up now. Um, maybe in the next few weeks we might do a, a Q&A um, for, you know, maybe any, let us know if you've got any questions, anything we didn't answer in this video um, that you would like to know, maybe just in regards to how did we find using different things. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, you know, if we get, get the, the, the questions, the comments, the interests, we do it. Um, but if not, we'll, uh, that's all good. We'll finish up now again. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you like the video and want to want to follow more of our stuff and um, give the like and comments. Um, and as always, please. I'm Dees for Getting Around Oz. Thanks for watching. Cheers.